President, please be seated. President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. And again, the floor is given to the co-prosecutors to put further questions to the expert. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. And before I put questions to the expert, I'd like to uh, inquire with uh, the president how much time that uh, we and the lead co-lawyers uh, have. President, as we stated, the allotted uh, time is one day and one session. So you will have this session, and maybe we will add another 15 session for the afternoon session, another 15 minutes for the uh, afternoon session. So uh, in short, you will have this whole session before the lunch break, and after we resume at 1.30, you will have about 15 minutes if needed. Nous reprendrons après la pause déjeuner. Vous aurez encore 15 minutes si nécessaire. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, thank you, uh, Mr. President, for uh, your advice. And good morning, Mr. Expert. Monsieur l'expert, bonjour. You have responded uh, quite extensively to the Vous international uh, Co-Prosecutor, and I'd like to put uh, some additional questions to you. Let me backtrack a little bit through the educational system for the Cham people prior to 1975. Can you inform the chamber the uh, kind of education to provide it to the Cham children and Cham community? Uh, before 1975, roughly around 1971 or 72, what was the educational system like? Answer. Uh, good morning. National Deputy co prosecutor I do not know whether I should refer to you as Miss or uh, Madame. As for the uh, educational system, allow me to uh, put it into two uh, parts. One is the uh, national educational system that is to uh, enrolled in the state schools, and the second one is the uh, religious or Islamic school. For the Islamic religious school, there is no clear curriculum prior to the Khmer Rouge regime. This means that whoever was knowledgeable in the religion or who could obtain a book, a teaching book or textbook from overseas would share that book or information with the uh, Jam people. So that was limited to the knowledge of the uh, teacher. There was no national standardized uh, curriculum for the Cham students. As for uh, the religious teachers or Tun, they uh, received uh, wages funded by the uh, villagers and the community. And it was the Harkam who was responsible for providing these wages to the uh, Tun or religious teachers. So this is about the Islamic religious uh, educational system. And let me now uh, look into the uh, state school educational system. During uh, the regime, there were not many Cham students who enrolled in the state school. There were less number than the Cham students who are enrolling now in the current uh, system. At that time, the Cham parents uh, had a perception that they were concerned that they would lose their identity when they sent their children to attend the state schools. There were some uh, parents who decided to, uh, to 
to get their uh, children to study with monks at the pagoda. And of course, the monks were the teachers. So they send their Donc, children to study the Khmer language Khmer with the monks at the pagoda, and pagode. the children, as a result, would also know about their Buddhism. Le Buddhism. Question. And what about uh, those who studied uh, at the religious uh, school with the Dun? Can you tell the chamber was there chambre? like a proper Islamic school where si they attended the schooling? Parlé, Answer. Réponse. Some religious hate a school while Certains others did not have this uh, so-called religious school. So for the schools, that did Donc not have uh, school, they would go and study at the houses of uh, the teacher, that is, uh, at Thun's house. Thun would uh, provide uh, tables, blackboards, chairs for the students at his or her own house. And if Thun could not afford uh, the chairs, <laughs> then they would uh, sit on the floor while they studied uh, there. So this, is, this was a kind of a limited uh, to the uh, resources of the Thun. Question. And Question. after uh, the Khmerus soldiers came to control uh, the areas, as you testified, Based on your research, can you tell the chamber uh, whether this kind of informal study with Thun continued? Answer, no. Even uh, prior to 1975, and that it could be in 1973, the Islamic religion was closed. There were no Islamic schools for Cham students. There were no longer any tunes and mosques were shut down as well. So by 1975, uh, the Islamic schools were completely shut down. Questioned. Based on your uh, research, can you uh, inform the chamber when the religious uh, practice and the religious uh, school of study were completely shut down? Was it in 1975? And uh, it was completely closed after the event of uh, rebellions in Swai Kliang and Koh Pol. By that time, the Cham people were evacuated from their community and dispersed uh, along with the Khmer people in various locations. When they no longer form a big community and only a few families were allowed to live in each village or a cooperative, they were subject of being monitored whether they forfeit their religion. And if not, uh, they would be taken away for killing. So I would conclude that uh, a complete shutdown took place after the uh, rebellions. The uh, close down actually uh, started early. However, some people attempted to, uh, to teach in smaller forms, uh, in covert, that is, uh, in within the Cham uh, community. But the complete shutdown took place after uh, re the rebellions. Question, thank you, and I move on to another uh, topic. That is in relation to the purchase of the Cham people between 1977 and 78. And as you have testif uh, testified before this chamber, the purge was uh, intensified during this particular period. Can you 
from the chamber the means that they use uh, to engage in this intensified purge of the Cham people between this period. And so as I testified yesterday, between 1977 and 1978, the Jan people assimilated with the Khmer people. So it was rather difficult for the Khmer Rouge to identify who were Jan and who were Khmer. As for the youth and the uh, children, the Cham children, they could speak Khmer rather fluently, and some of them had difficulty speaking Cham due to the prohibition by the Khmer Rouge. Then, during this period, they resorted to using a trick. They said that the, the country was fully liberated, so the Cham people should return to their respective hometowns and villages in order to unite with their family members. And that was easier for the Khmer Rouge to identify the Cham people. For instance, those Cham who returned to Swai Clan were gathered up, taken away, and killed. The same thing applied to other districts, including Kampung Sim and Stung Trong. So they knew that they were Cham since they returned to the Cham villages. For that reason, they were taken away and killed. And the killing was indiscriminatory, whether they were women, whether they were children, or whether they agreed to eat pork, or whether they could no longer speak Cham, as long as they were Cham or they were Cham or they were mixed blood, even some dude who said that they, they were mixed blood, they were not spared, they were taken away and killed. And for the youth who lived assimilated with the Akhmer people and whose parents had been killed, those youth were gathered by the Khmer Rouge together with the Akhmer youth and then they asked who were Khmer and who were Cham and that they had to raise their hand. And after they answered whether they were Cham, they were half blood, or they were Khmer, they would be separated. And later on, the Cham and the half blood Cham were taken away and killed. And that happened in Trier village. And I learned of this account from a survivor who was there. Question. Question. Did your research uh, indicate who actually initiated the, uh, this uh, plan to purge the Cham people? And if so, from which level? And my uh, research was based uh, on the accounts of uh, the victims who were there or who lived through the event. And I also uh, relied on the accounts of the uh, people who served the regime, that is, the perpetrators. And as I have stated earlier, there was no written document on the instructions, namely uh, from the center to the zone, or from the zone to the sector, or from the sector to the district, that the jam had to be gathered up and killed. I have not seen such a written document. However, I met with the individuals who saw the document, namely Sofkam Ray, who saw such a document and who told me about it. And this morning I mentioned Sales Ahmad, who heard what Kai Bok said during the meeting. 
And there were also a Khmer witnesses who saw such a document or written instructions from the center to the district and the district to the lower level. And I was told about that. Also, the witnesses who participated in the uh, commune meetings told me about a Cham being uh, gathered up and killed. However, when I asked for the, any uh, written document, they could not produce such a document. During the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, such a written document was uh, confidential, and only the limited number of uh, people who could actually see the document, but who could not keep it. Question, throughout your research and interview, did any of your witnesses uh, talk about young people being sent for detention before they were sent uh, to be killed as part of this uh, so-called purge? Answer. In cases of the uh, arrest and detention of the Cham people, it happened since 1973. 1973 was the year where uh, the Cham people had their uh, roles in their leadership, including uh, Hakum, Hachi, and Tun. Hachi referred to those who went on pilgrimage to a bigger country. They were rounded up in 1973. And in Krochma district, these people were gathered up and detained in a, a district security center uh, near a Krochma market. A similar uh, event uh, took place in other uh, districts. And the arrest continued until the event of the uh, rebellions. And by 1977, the Cham people were sent to live mingled uh, with the Khmer people. And between 1977 to 78, the Cham people were not the subject to be arrested and detained, and detained but they would be uh, rounded up at each location. They were uh, sent to be detained provisionally for a day or two before the previous batch uh, were all killed. Then their turn uh, would come. At Otrakun Pagoda, there was a charm person named Himam, if I recall it well. Himam and his wife fled when they were rounded up the charm people, and there were hundreds of the charm people. They were rounded up and sent from the village to Otroku and Pagoda. They fled, and those hundreds of charm people were killed. They were not put in prisons, they were not interrogated. Prison, and there were no written records of their uh, confessions or list of their names. They were the not uh, detained, de but they were uh, killed. Question. Question. Did you know why the uh, purchase became intensified in 1977 and 78. Answer. I still have doubts on this issue. Why they did what they did. Why after the Cham actually forfeited uh, their religious, their identity, and adapted, adapted themselves uh, to live the way they wanted, and they were still killed. 
I have no answer for je that. Pas de uh, if I were to die, si I would die mourir, without peace because I could not find the answer to that. I have lost cela. a lot of uh, relatives perdu de de ma during the regime. Question, this is my last question, question to you. Ce sera ma dernière question pour vous. What distraction to cause uh, through the Islamic community and the Islamic religion, uh, starting from the 17th April 1975 and continued until 6 January 1979? And so, if you refer to the distraction, you could uh, go to the loss of the hundred thousands of lives of the Chang people who were killed. And there was only a limited number of Chang people who survived based on my research, and there were only about 200,000 uh, Cham people who survived, and about 400 to 500,000 of them perished their lives. And even for the survivors, they were under severe trauma and depression, and this kind of feeling remains with them till today. This is the result of them witnessing the uh, killing of their relatives, of their grandparents, and children are by themselves without their uh, parents or they couldn't find their parents, and they were the orphans of the regime. As for the Cham community, there were no longer any educated leaders, since religious leaders were exterminated during the regime. There were no religious teachers, no dun, and their children, and the children became illiterate in the Islamic religion and Islamic study, and that remains. As a result, you can see that there is no remarkable development or progress within the Cham community, and there are only a limited number of uh, religious uh, leaders, and that is a result of the destruction of the Khmer Rouge regime. If the Khmer Rouge did not kill the Cham people, the Cham community would be in a much better shape and that they should be acknowledged by the world. Thank you, Mr. Expert, for answering my question. And Mr. President, I have no longer any questions for the expert. President, I'd like now to hand the floor to the lead co-lawyers to put questions to this expert. You may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Bonjour, Monsieur l'expert. Je m'appelle Marie Giroux. Good morning, expert. Je suis My name is Marie Giroux. L'avocat qui représente les intérêts du collectif des parties civiles dans ce procès. Et j'ai quelques, quelques questions de, de suivi pour vous ce matin et sûrement cet, cet après-midi. Vous nous avez indiqué hier matin que vous avez travaillé au CDCAM en tant que chercheur entre 1999 et 2006 que vous aviez ensuite travaillé au bureau des co-juges d'instruction, ici même aux chambres extraordinaires. Vous nous avez également indiqué que vous avez mené un certain nombre d'interviews pour les deux ouvrages que vous avez écrits. Je voulais savoir si vous pouviez nous donner une estimation du nombre d'auditions de CHAM que vous avez mené depuis que vous travaillez sur cette question. On this matter. Response. Yes, good morning, um, Council. Um, it might be a translation error or your error. Uh, in fact, I started working with um, this in 19. 99, and the number of interviewees I interviewed, I did not count 
if, you, if someone asks me right immediately after that, I can tell. But now, it's, it is difficult for me to uh, tell you the exact fig figure. It is, uh, I interview about two to three hundred interviewees based on my recollections. C'est précisément ce que je voulais, une estimation, une fourchette de what personnes I que vous étiez, que vous auriez interrogé. Est-ce que dans ces 200 à 300 personnes que vous avez interrogées, il y avait une proportion importante de Cham Ou avez-vous interrogé des personnes qui n'étaient pas Cham pendant cette période où vous étiez chercheur au CDCAM During that period when you were working for DCCAM as a researcher. Response. The majority of them were charm people, and a small num another uh, number of interviewees uh, were Cambodians. But uh, I divided Cambodian interviewees into two groups. Uh, one was the group of victims who live with the charm people and who experience similar difficulty and suffering as the charm people did. And another group of my interviewee were the former official or cadre who involved in the arrest or the execution of the charm victims. Je vous remercie Thank parmi you. La, la centaine Among the de Cham que so vous avez entendu. Avez-vous entendu ces victimes sur l'ensemble du territoire du Cambodge Avez-vous concentré vos recherches sur un district ou une province en particulier Pouvez-vous donner un petit peu plus de précisions sur la localisation de ces personnes Cham que vous avez interrogées lorsque vous étiez chercheur Response. I have interviewed um, people for writing my book Ukuba. I did not um, focus in a particular location or area, but I focus on the uh, charm victims or their family members um, victims, charm, ou les membres de leur famille qui that uh, suffer um, uh, that experience um, at their fate at S21 and I would follow their story to different places like Ang and Cotton and um, to write this book, I focus my interview um, of Cham people. Most of them were living in Krochma district, Kongmis district, and Kompongsim and Stung Trang districts, and some from other districts, including Tbong Khmum, etc., and also Penye Krak district. Je vous remercie. Vous avez Thank indiqué you. hier en you début d'audition que la majorité des musulmans au Cambodge étaient Cham, sous-entendant qu'il existait d'autres minorités musulmanes au Cambodge. Pouvez-vous indiquer à la cour s'il existe d'autres minorités musulmanes au Cambodge Et si oui, quelles sont-elles Et si oui, quelles sont-elles Et si c'est le cas, quelles sont-elles Response. The term charm, if they call themselves le as charm, charm. Si les gens the comme charm, correct term, it is pronounced as charm. On le pronounce charm. But uh, Cambodian and other people would uh, pronounce as charm. 
uh, Cham or Cham, Cham. Um, originated in uh, uh, Champa and they keep their religion all the way to Cambodian, to Cambodia. Another Cham was Cham Chui. And these Cham Chui uh, did not flee from any mistreatment from Vietnam, but they, are, they were from um, Malaysia. And uh, from Indonesia. If you look at their clothing, they si vous voyez would les wear a similar uh, dress. And the Cham Chuir um, did not speak um, their Cham language. They would speak Khmer language or um, their language from Indonesia. So the charm, as a, a general term, includes the charm en people from Champa and those who were from Indonesia during the Sankum Risniyum region. Um, the late king, um, the Fang, and uh, created a term which is Khmer Islam. Je vous remercie donc Thank pour you. être clair. So les Chuyas sont this, considérés comme des chams. J'ai bien compris Is votre témoignage. Bon, yes, oui, correct. Vous avez beaucoup utilisé you le terme de communauté the word community hier quite a bit yesterday and today. Hier, vous avez yesterday, notamment indiqué lorsque vous parliez des personnes when you were qui ont été transférées après la rébellion, uh, after the rebellions. vous avez indiqué que ces you personnes avaient perdu leur sens d'appartenance à une communauté. A community. Et je voulais revenir and sur ce terme de communauté, de idée de communauté, de chambre de communauté, qui semble très importante dans votre discours depuis hier. Comment définir une communauté de chambre de communauté Vous avez parlé de religion, 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 vous avez parlé about the Cham language, but are there other criteria to define what a community, what a Cham community is for you? Response. It is not difficult for you to understand, Council. The Cham communities are places or area where Cham family uh, are living, including the Tuan and Cham, other families, from 40 families or more. Donc it is called Cham community, one Cham community. D'après les recherches et les Based auditions que vous avez menées, ce concept de communauté est-il différent is chez les Cham et chez les Khmer? The Cham and among the Khmer? Uh, Response. For Cambodian people, as far as I understand, they don't, they don't often use the term community because Cambodians are the majority across the country. For ethnic minority who live in a country, it's not uh, only charm, but also uh, Chinese minority and Vietnamese minority, um, they would be called um, community of um, Charai, community of uh, Chinese, community of Vietnamese. So this term community is uh, referred or used for ethnic minority in a country. Vous avez évoqué tout à l'heure le terme d'entraide au sein même de la communauté. Je voudrais savoir s'il existait des systèmes d'entraide spécifiques dans les communautés et les villages Cham. Et si oui, quels étaient-ils Avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges dans les zones dont nous parlerons. Avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges dans les zones dont nous parlerons. 
Yes, uh, mutual help oui, and assistance was obligated under the religion. Each follower has to help each other. Um, Cham who uh, believe in Islam, for example, an orphan who lost both of his or her parents, the Cham, um, community is obligated La to help this orphan to have a better education, uh, clothing, and food. And this also applies to the poor people in the community. If he or she is the poorest of the poor, the community has an obligation to raise funds under Islamic religion to help the, the poor. When Zakat or Fitras, uh, Fitras is defined as uh, by the end of Ramadan, each Cham person has to contribute in rice in a certain kilogram and every villager has to contribute for the benefit of the poor. Islamic religion taught the community to take care, to offer medication for the poor and to provide everything um, based on solidarity to help one another. So the rich cannot violate the poor. The rich shall contribute for the benefit of the poor. The one with education shall contribute to teaching of the ignorant. This is under Islamic principle for their own community and for other people outside of their community in the world to help one another. Je vous remercie. Thank Selon you. vos recherches, ce système d'entraide so spécifique dont vous venez de parler a-t-il perduré pendant la période du démocratique by the end of 1975, right after the rebellion, no solid solidarity exists. The Cham people could not help one another. Each of them had to try their best to, to save his or her own life. Je vous remercie. Thank you. La communauté Cham est-elle structurée Cham en groupes, en castes ou en lignées Est-ce que c'est un concept lineages? qui existe Is this a concept dans la communauté Cham, in the Cham community? Response. When you are talking about group, yes, it is formed in order to understand the need or any problem. And in each village, uh, the, a small group was created. It's called in Cham, it's called Chumas. Chumas headed by one chief who uh, will supervise or um, work closely with the members. So when you are talking about uh, social class or caste, um, there's no classification like that. For example, the rich um, class or the poor class or um, the person who, who is well educated or not. There was no class like that in uh, the Cham community. But um, there was a teaching that each 
uh, each person in the community have to love and uh, help one another to the best of their ability. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous nous avez parlé hier des différents about, uh, chefs religieux ou autorités religieuses qui existaient au sein des communautés de Cham. Vous nous avez parlé du Hakim, du Haji, about the Hakim about du Metchumha, about the Metchumha, en insistant sur le fait que ces personnes étaient responsables in des affaires de religion et n'étaient pas impliquées dans l'éducation ou dans la transmission des or traditions. traditions. Vous nous avez parlé And ce also matin spoke du Tumpa. Vous, vous, vous venez de nous parler du Tumpa. Existe-t-il so, au sein de la communauté Cham d'autres figures qui groups, sont chargées de transmettre la culture Cham, la tradition Cham, Cham ou d'éduquer les jeunes Cham en plus de la figure Cham du Thun dont vous nous avez parlé ce matin Uh, response. You are correct, counsel. Oui, maître, vous avez raison. Hakim, chi or chief of Chumpas or Tun. Hakim, le chef de Chumpas ou le Tun. Most of um, these. Uh, people would focus on the religious education. I admit that we lack of uh, the teacher or professor who uh, will teach history and other subjects for the community. But in any how, I would like to appreciate a number of Cham people in Kampung Chenang, Pursat, bon, Batambong province, Batambong, à Kampung Chenang, à uh, who are Tun or Hakim. Tun ou des Hakim. Um, they uh, preserve the tradition, custom, but also teach history and cultures, uh, culture for uh, young generation in their community. I do not finish my research. I, can, I keep continuing research, and I will write the history of uh, Champa and um, the the country or the, the land of Champa so that de, I can bring uh, knowledge and um, awareness to uh, the Cham in Cambodia. Faire une sensibilisation sur la question des Cham au Cambodge. Je vous remercie. La famille <coughs> est-elle traditionnellement un lieu de transmission de la culture Cham Et si oui, pouvez-vous a center of transmission of Cham culture. And if that is the case, can you tell us how Cham culture is transmitted within the family, such as the role of the father, the role of the mother, the role of the children? Talking about culture. Au sujet de la culture. Uh, we can maintain the language which is part of the culture and la fait the dressing de de la culture, style as a jam. Les des jams. But when we talk about history, Mais parle I would histoire, like to re-emphasize that regarding the History souligner à nouveau au sujet in the de family, parents en milieu familial, teach oral history to their children, not the written one. Orale For example, enfants, my parents told me the exemple, oral history parents, to me, and I would pass on this to my children. My parents told me about the mes glory of the Cham kingdom. La gloire du royaume Cham. And who killed our ancestors? Qui avait tué nos ancêtres? So 
My parents told me about the history. Mes parents m'ont donc parlé de notre histoire. When we talk about culture of the jam, the culture, the cultural aspect la is intertwined jam, les aspects culturels the religion. sont mêlés à la religion. So the jam culture does not disappear because et donc, children follow the pour, living donc, practices of their parents. Ne disparaît pas car les enfants suivent les pratiques de leurs parents. But history can disappear because there is no written record. The written record n'est pas écrite. Perished during the old day. Les documents because historiques material, ont disparu historical dans l'ancien temps car were ces burned documents historiques down, ont été brûlés. Or some of the material were buried and those who bury the material passed away so no one knew where those materials were exactly buried. I received some of the materials from some people Certaines who plucked the field and they found the material buried underneath les, les champs, their paddy fields donc and they gave those materials to me. Ces documents qu'ils m'ont remis. We knew that the Khmer Rouge hated the Vietnamese and wanted to take revenge against the Vietnamese and les we Vietnamiens had documents about this but as for the material about the Cham we lost them Cham, many of them nous avons perdu, nous en avons if perdu une there partie. had not been the Khmer Rouge regime the Cham the condition of si Cham people would not be Rouge, like nowadays the Cham people Cham would be in good des, shape and would bien, be conditions more bien progressive and, and Cham prosperous and glorious. Plus the Cham now started very hard to re-establish their life Les and Cham I hope that there will be no longer any oppression or killing of the Cham people. I thank you. You said earlier Les enfants, euh, that the children, Cham, pendant le régime Cham du démocratique, under the DK regime, were separated de from their families and sent uh, into children's units. Vos recherches et vos entretiens vous ont-ils permis and de conclure did your research que cette séparation des familles avait eu un impact sur la communauté Cham of families had an impact on the Cham community. The separation severely affected the Cham people. Children were no longer allowed to live with the parents, so they could not speak the Cham language. The children, the, the Khmer Rouge labeled the children as the children of the revolution. Les Khmer Rouge ont appelé ces enfants les enfants de la révolution. And as for the separation, it did not take place only to donc, the Cham children, but also to the Khmer children who were separated Cham from their parents. Les Khmer qui ont été de leurs parents. But for the Khmer children, they were not Khmer, much affected because everywhere people spoke Khmer, even the Khmer, 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 Khmer Rouge. But for the Cham children, Khmer, Cham, they were not allowed to speak Cham. Dans leur cas, ils ne pouvaient pas parler and they live separately from their parents, ils so de leurs parents. they lost the opportunity to listen to the history ainsi, of Cham from their parents, and as a result, they lost orale, their identity. Euh, par leurs parents, et ainsi ont perdu leur identité. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Je voulais vous poser quelques questions I sur like to to you a few questions la collectivisation des terres, en prenant peut-être comme exemple land, votre village taking, natal, example, uh, ou en tout cas le, le district où se trouve example, votre village natal. Les communautés Cham avaient-elles une façon particulière de travailler la terre, of working, uh, the land, différente des villages ou communautés uh, Khmer qui se trouvaient à côté Khmer communities that were next door. Cham people had a 
some distinctive skill different from the Khmer. For example, they possess specific skill about fishing. The Khmer also can fish, but they cannot fish uh, like the charm. The charm can get more fish than the Khmer. Parviennent à pêcher plus And de poissons que les Chams. Les Chams knew how to sustain the number of fish uh, in, in, in their fishing. And another skill the charm possess is about blacksmith. Blacksmith. And the charm was very famous for blacksmith. C'est forgé. Les Chams sont bien connus pour être de bons forgerons. But nowadays, uh, it's the charm who possess the three skills that they inherited jours, from their ancestors qui des nearly trois qui, donc, faced sont de leurs problems ont, in their making a living because fish in the rivers, in the water now become decreased. Il y a de moins en moins de poissons dans les fleuves. And as for As for seal weaving, Quand, uh, aussi, they also face uh, alors, problems because now there are factories de and there are a, also imported products, des products from abroad that threaten their career. Et qui menacent leur savoir-faire et leur gain. En prenant, pour exemple, le district de Kreuzmar, vous avez example, concentré district, à certaines de vos recherches. Vous vous expliquer quel a été le processus de collectivisation des terres et si a eu un impact was, particulier dans les villages et les communautés Cham. On the Cham uh, communities and villages. The collection did not take place only with land. It also took place with people. People were gathered to live together and the crops harvested were also gathered and Put together. Les récoltes, elles aussi, ont été mises ensemble. And people were required to live in cooperative. Les gens devaient so vivre dans des coopératives. Et donc, became the collective tout est devenu collectif. Things. Even which tables and fruits les légumes, that les fruits, we grew tout ce que in faisait, our... It, on the land... But uh, we could not eat those fruit or vegetable mm. because mm. everything became collective property. Tout était devenu une propriété collective. Les coopératives regroupaient-elles les Chams et les Khmer Did the cooperatives group together Cham and Khmer or were there cooperatives that were set up only for Cham people? Au début. Uh, At the beginning, there were no cooperatives which was for the for Mais the Cham people. Pas de coopérative Cham. Uh, after 1975. Before 1975, yes, there Après were 1975, communities il that had des, only the Cham people. Donc, si je comprends bien so votre if I understood your testimony properly, 1975, as of 1975, tous les à des all of the Cham were placed in cooperatives that were mixed that included Cham people and Khmer people, so that I understand your testimony properly. Yes, you are right. Oui, oui, c'est exact. Vous avez raison. From 
November 1975, Eating in common in the collective, in the cooperative had a special impact on the Cham. Yesterday you spoke to us about pork and about the fact that the Cham were obliged to eat pork. So were there other effects on the Cham with regard to eating in common within the cooperative? The Cham people do not eat pork. Les Cham ne mangent this pas is de porc. the religious regulation. Un commandement. But when they lived in the cooperative, I would like to explain that uh, it's not only for pork, but it's also for chicken and beef. The cham could eat this meat only when they are killed by Muslim in a proper Islamic way. That the cham people can eat those meat. Ainsi que les gens but when the Cham people live in the cooperative with the Khmer people, Mais lorsque les Cham vivaient dans les this kind avec of dietary practices could, not, could no longer maintain. Plus maintenir ces pratiques alimentaires. They had to eat commonly with the Khmer people. Il manger They en commun ate avec les Khmer, even pork. Y compris du porc. In fact, the Khmer Rouge did not have enough pork to supply to the cooperative. Pas assez de porc but the Khmer Rouge still try to find way to force the Cham people, de people in the cooperative to eat dans les pork, à manger du porc. despite the ce, inadequate pork supply. La pénurie. And those Cham people who resist the instruction to eat pork, Et they were killed. And those who followed the order, followed the order survived. survived. Je vais aborder un, un nouveau sujet, Monsieur I'll le Président. Je ne sais pas si vous questioning. Au portant de faire la pause, je peux Perhaps continuer si vous souhaitez. It is important for Marquez. us to take the break now and bah. then I'll continue bah. later. President, it is now convenient time for lunch break. Le moment est venu de the la chamber pause will take a break from Je now until 1.30. 30. Court officer, please Laissez find for this expert a proper place in the waiting room reserved for this expert. And please bring him along with his legal officer back to this courtroom before 1.30. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kyu Sampon back to the room downstairs and have him return to this courtroom before 1.30. The court is now in recess.